Well, right now, when we look at the polls that have been conducted, and there are relatively few this year uh, on the Virginia governor's race, usually we've seen a lot more uh, by this time of year, but uh, right now it shows uh, that if you average all the results of the polls, McAuliffe has about a three percentage point lead. And that's been fairly consistent, and it's among likely voters, that is to say people who have voted in several of the last elections and are ready to go ahead and vote again in this election, whether they're enthusiastic or not. The key questions are going to be uh, related to turnout. Uh, and there's uh, not that much persuasion going on in this election campaign. There's a relatively small number of voters who really don't know which way they'll wind up on election day. It's more a matter of trying to get your own committed supporters to recognize the importance of the election and to show up either before November 2nd or on the election day itself. For Glenn Youngkin, I think the issue is can he actually uh, break through among suburban voters who've shifted so sharply to the Democrats in recent years? He's put a lot of effort into it, uh, but he's been hampered somewhat by the fact that those voters who were not particularly supportive of Donald Trump uh, keep getting reminded of Mr. Trump's uh, role mostly by the McAuliffe campaign, but also by uh, the former president himself, who has uh, uh, interceded in the election several times. Uh, in terms of uh, the Democrats, th what they've got to do is convince their voters that uh, having uh, defeated Donald Trump was not enough, that uh, McAuliffe needs them to show up at the polls in order to continue the Democrats' uh, agenda here in Virginia, which they've only been able to put in place in the last two years as they uh, won the control of the General Assembly and uh, held the governorship for the first time in a couple of decades.